Hello Zaniacs, I'm Lainey. I am Marshall. Today we're going to talk about a book that Marshall has read. It's called Amon's Journal, Book One, The Red Diamond. Um, this is a book that when I first picked it up I thought that this was going to be a fantasy story and it does have fantasy elements. But this is a little bit more on the side of a rom-com. So this book was actually like we, someone contacted us and requested that we review this for them. Yes. We are a little behind and I'm so sorry about that. Yeah, I did read it a little while ago, but we just, it took, a, everything's Along, going yeah. on, it took us a while to get the review yeah. out. Um, so, Iman is one of a line of wizards. They all have magical powers and they want to hide from humanity, so they all kind of stay in this insular clique inside of a mansion that's owned by her grandfather. Her parents are dead. Um, and she s decides that she wants to study viruses. She wants to st she wants to study diseases, and so she's going to go to college. Um, so there's a f some rules for wizards. Don't get too close to humans. Don't let humans know about magic. Don't fall in love with humans. Don't tell humans about magic. Don't. Do just don't with the humans. Just don't with the humans. So she runs directly <clears throat> to all of the humans. Of course. And um, she falls in love with a boy uh, who is not a wizard. And this starts a sequence of events um, that if I was to tell you everything, uh, what the consequences of breaking the rules of magic are, it would totally ruin the plot of the book. Um, the, the story is well written in that it's written from her perspective. Um, e everything in there is her mentality and you can feel it. Um, my only issue with that is, I hate her. <laughs> I hate her Are you supposed it. to hate her? I don't know. Uh -huh. Um, she is not in the way that we are talking about it in modern day. She's racist, but against humans. Against anybody who isn't wizard. So she hates them all and wants to keep them all at arm's length. The only one she can stand is this boy. Hmm. Um, the only thing she ever has to say about her roommate and their friends is they're fat. And she hates them for being fat. And it's just so much hatred and selfishness in this character that I don't... I didn't see Get Redeemed in this book. I didn't see it. Um, that... But it is a series, right? So this maybe, is book one. Maybe there's so redemption. It may be, there may be redemption as the story goes on, but I was not... I didn't feel for this character. I didn't really feel for any of the characters, uh, personally. Um, that being said, the author has some definite abilities in writing characters, writing from their perspective. Well, I think that says a lot about the author, because yes. you... It, it takes a lot of courage to write characters that people might mm -hmm. really not like very much in order to drive the story mm -hmm. so i mean i'm i'm kind of hoping that i'm hoping that like in some time i will hear oh this is this is gone so far and now everybody's loving this character because then i can go back and be like okay she's gonna get better but right. at this point in the story i'm kind of like uh, I, I, mm, I can't <laughs> that's too bad yeah. yeah, but that's not to say you probably should, you know, try to pick up this book too, so you can like read another yeah, perspective. Yeah, own complexity. perspective on this. Yeah, um, because that's me. I, I have certain triggers, so you might be triggered by something else. I don't know. <laughs> you might be just fine with this character. I don't know. I never know. <laughs> uh, so what did you give it? I ended up giving it two stars. Um, Sorry. Well, thank you so much for watching this little review, but we're going to leave all the information down below. But until next time, stay zany. Bye-bye.